Well, it's been a warm day again across the area, but some showers, even some thunder showers in the area have cooled things off some. Temperatures right now are mostly in the 70s. Currently, we are 77 in Glenville and Hinesville. Midway had a little bit of rain, 75 there. We've also had a couple of showers around Savannah where it's 78. It's kind of a few spots still in the 80s in between that didn't see any rain this afternoon. Well, let's take a look at the last three hours. Saw a band of showers and some thunder as well pushing in from the southeast to the northwest. Most of the area right now is dry. Let's take a look closer here. We had some brief heavy rain moving through Vidalia, Metter, and Statesboro, and some lightning strikes too. All that pushing off to the north. Further east, we've got one shower moving into Pembroke right now that will continue heading northwest. We had a couple lightning strikes earlier, but that has weakened. Further east, we've got a shower heading west of Garden City into the Pooler area. So get some brief rain there. Otherwise, closer to the coast, the sea breeze has already moved out, so you're likely protected for any showers. And then we head west, and we see a large area of rain, some of it heavy, back out in Alabama, some storms as well, pushing east from Mississippi up into Tennessee. And this is all going to head east tomorrow as a cold front moves into our area. So that's going to be our best chance of rain coming up. You can see the rain extends right on up into the Ohio Valley also. Let me show you what we're tracking here. After an early evening shower in a couple of spots, we're going to be partly the mostly cloudy overnight. Then late tonight, some shower chances begin the increase through 8 a.m. Now tomorrow it's not going to rain continuously, but when it does rain, it could come down on the heavy side through one o'clock. You'll see areas of showers and possible thunder. It appears that the potential for heavy downpours will increase some along the coastal counties as we head through five and six o'clock. There will also be the potential for some thunder as well. And then that will push on east as dry air moves in. Skies will clear tomorrow night and Friday and setting up for beautiful weather coming up for Saturday also with lots of sun. In addition to that, it's going to be cooler and the humidity is going to drop. Potential for rain amounts. Here's the latest computer model showing through 2 o'clock tomorrow, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain across the area. Keep in mind that over here in these eastern spots, it's going to rain after 2 o'clock. So really, there's the potential for about an inch of rain in many locations. Some could get a little bit more than that. It's certainly going to be a soaking rain as we get these showers and thunderstorms moving through during the day. So tomorrow we'll wake up to scattered showers and temperatures in the low 70s. We may hit 80 in some spots in between the rain, but in the afternoon most areas will be in the 70s with showers and thunder around. And the main thing we'll see will be some heavy downpours from time to time. Tides look like this. We've got a high tide in the morning at 9.06. Meanwhile, the seas are going to become rougher tomorrow as the cold front approaches and the showers and storms arrive. So expect boating to be rougher tomorrow and into Friday. Even though skies will be clearing Friday, the seas will still be a little bit rough. Tree pollen and mold are both showing up as moderate in your latest pollen report. And let's check out that Storm Tracker 7-day forecast. After a wet day tomorrow, we are looking at some really nice weather for the weekend. Lots of sun, highs not too far from 80, and with lower humidity, lows will drop into the 50s. And we know the hot weather is coming soon for good, so we have to enjoy these nice weather streaks while we get them.